And how's it going there guys? So, if you guys were in the stream last night, you would have seen what happened. If not, um, I'm going to play a clip of it, uh, what happened. Um, if you guys don't like distressing images or like, I do freak okay. out. Yeah, I, I freak out a bit um, and it is too with medical shit. So, um, if you don't like it, skip ahead. I'll give you a timestamp of when to skip ahead too if you want to skip what happened. A disclaimer. Yeah, disclaimer. Alright, anyway. Is that your best shot? Oh, dude, I can't feel my hat. Oh. Oh, I got weird pins in need. Dude, I don't feel right. What the fuck? I don't feel right. I don't feel right. Hang on a sec, guys. Hey. Hi, I don't feel. Oh, dude, my blood pressure dropped like crazy. I couldn't talk right for a second. Ooh, that felt so weird. Dude, I lost complete control of my left arm and then I couldn't talk. That was so weird. Like, it felt like pins and needles for a sec. And then I couldn't move my left arm and then I couldn't talk. Like, it was blah, blah. So that's why I called you and I was going to say help, but I'm okay now. That was so strange. Ooh. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, I'm, I'm okay now. I feel not that was weird. That was so weird. Okay, yeah. I'm All right. So anyway, now that you guys have seen what happened uh, last night, very basically, uh, it was called a TIA, which I cannot pronounce the actual words of it, but it's mini stroke is the easy way to say it. It was a mini stroke. Um, my girlfriend and I were at the hospital for a good seven hours, roughly. And if you include going to the GP, it was about an eight, nine hour day of waiting and waiting and waiting. So anyway, everyone say thanks to the girlfriend for looking after me. She was with me the entire time. Not charging my phone, but me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she she was keeping my mom up to date, keeping my parents up to date with everything that's happening. And um, you know, just keeping me company and making sure I felt okay and supporting me overall. So anyway, MVP is the girlfriend. So um, <laughs> anyway, basically what happened was... We waited in the waiting room for a good like three, three hours. Three and a half hours. Three, three and a half hours, easy. Um, when we got in, the first thing they did was took blood pressure. They took um, some blood to do tests. Test. They did a coordination. Well, that was a different one, actually. They wanted to be like, move my arms. One of the weirdest questions they asked was like, they pointed a hand and say, whose hand is this? And apparently if you have like a full on stroke, you don't know if it's your own hand, which is fascinating. But um, anyway, I passed all the tests as physical ones. Um, the doctor tried to scratch my foot because it's supposed to apparently like you're supposed to move your foot away. Reflexes. Yeah, I didn't. So he got a bit. Yeah, he kept scratching my foot, thinking I'd move my foot away or laugh or something. And he's not ticklish. And I'm not ticklish. That backfired. But anyway, I passed all those tests. After that, it was just a generic test. Um, then I had these stickers placed all over me, and then like electrodes ECGs. on them. Yeah, an ECG. Basically, it just checks your heart's working properly and the electrical signals in your body are working. Passed that test as well. Uh, then we waited about an hour and a half. Then I went for my head CT scan. And then after that, we waited about another hour, hour and a half. I'd say we're about another two hours. Yeah, maybe two hours even. Yeah, two anyway. Or three. It was about two or three to get results back. Like yeah, the that. formal results back. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I uh, came back that my brain is there and it, it's a brain. Nothing wrong with it. Just there is a brain. So now you guys can't call me dumb. I, I do have a brain. It has been checked. <laughs> Whether um, it works well or not is the question. But I have one. That's the main thing. I have a brain. Okay. Well, if you didn't have one, you wouldn't be walking. Yeah, true. Anyway. Um, so yeah, basically, um, in the end, my GP said what it could have been. It was an atypical migraine, um, but like a really serious one. And uh, basically, what caused the stroke? Yeah, and then the doctors at the hospital ended up just agreeing with him, saying, "Look, it was probably an atypical migraine with very, very, very serious consequences to it." So yeah, that's all it was—a fucking migraine called caused me, a twenty-three-year-old, to have a mini stroke. Anyway, thought I would make a video about this because it was interesting, and a lot of guys did see this. Um, if you guys have sent me love over Discord, Snapchat, Twitter, guys, thank you for all the love and support. 
Um, thank you for all the kind wishes. You guys are the best fucking audience ever. I appreciate it. It really did keep me going throughout the day, you know, replying to you guys and, you know, all that's happening and chatting with you. <sighs> anyway, we all know what's happened, and I'll see you in the stream later, guys. Uh, have a good one. <laughs>